Hello. Did you see how Ken was running? He is still running. Oh my <laughs> God. <laughs> Here I am. I'm terrible with mosquitoes. I get bumps and everything. Well, not just mosquitoes, other anything that bites you. And we have this, may you know it, that's our stop. We call it just stop and that's a spray. And Ken was using the spray We're f perfectly fine, but on his head, he or the face where the mosquitoes are, all the other ones are coming. <laughs> uh, he is not using the spray and he came up and he said, wifey, can we not have a cream so I can cream my head and exactly. my, my face and don't have to spray my face. And I said, hey, you know what? That's a good idea. And we did. And now we want to share this with you. Um, as you can see, <laughs> he already used a whole pot of this because he's working outside. And at the moment when it's not really summer anymore, it's fall. And yeah, this nasty little mosquitoes or flies or whatever is flying around. They are here and they are a lot. Um, I'm working more inside, but he was doing May. You saw this when we came in. Our greenhouse is nearly done, but this is something for a special video. So he was out the whole week and building and doing and the mosquitoes came. <laughs> but not to Ken because he used our, we call this anti-mosquito bites. Um, no, balm, what I'm saying. Yeah, it's against the bites, but it's a balm. And I want to share with you or we want to share with you how you make your own mosquito, anti-mosquito balm. Not a cream, it's a balm. It's a little bit more softer because Ken was complaining if it's too hard, it takes too long until it's um, on the skin or on the head. And he said, what did you say? <laughs> yeah. So if it's hard, it really doesn't. But let me show you. So this is a soft. I don't know if you can see it here. Look. Yeah, it makes you a little bit glossy in the beginning, but look, it sucks and it in works. The skin. Well, not really. It stays on top <laughs> that the mosquitoes and everything stays away, but still anything in there is healthy for you. It doesn't damage your skin or anything. There's no poisonous, all organic. Of course, everything is organic. You should know it by now that we are not using anything which would harm your skin or whatever. And yeah, you can buy anti uh, bite balm or whatever in the store, but do me a favor and read the ingredients and then think about it. If you really want to put this on your skin, um, we thought, no, we will not. So our creation is made and I want to make a batch here with you together. My broiler is already ready to go. What we are using is 100 gram of cocoa oil. Well, put it in there. And then we have 30 grams of beeswax put it in there as well and 100 oh my god this would be a big batch 10 milliliter of castor oil and we put everything here in our broiler so and now we need some kind of patient because it has to melt it down and beside the coconut oil and the beeswax and the castor oil of course we need some how do you say odor no smell what the good smelling yep yeah what for us is good but the creature said Bleh! that's disgusting so and we are talking about in this um creation we made for our cream we have 20 drops of rosemary oil and 15 drops of lemongrass 10 grub grubs <laughs> drops of cedar oil 10 drops of peppermint oil and last but not least, we have in there five drops of citronella, which is, has nothing to do with lemon. It's a, spe it's a different plant, citronella. And five um, drops of cloth. Did I say cloth or cloth? Cloth. <laughs> Nilken. <laughs> and five gram of germanium, which is, um, we in Germany, we have uh, germanians in, on every balcony. Geranians. Geranian. <laughs> Especially in... Um, in the area from M Munich, Bavarian, they are always, and it looks so pretty. May I found a picture so I can show you how this plant looks like. So these are the, for us, delicious smelling essential oils, um, organic essential oils. I told you that before, because otherwise if you put non-organic essential oil, this is not organic anymore. So it's very important. It costs a little bit more, but it's worth the price. And you can harm your skin from non-organic. 
essential oils. Exactly. So it looks like it's good. Switch off my burner here and now find something that I'm not burning myself. Not even hot. So this is what it has to look like. Everything is melted down. And then we have to wait a little bit to cool it down. Do we need an ice pack? <laughs> Normally it's it's right now by 170. Um, no, it doesn't have to ki ki keel, cool, <laughs> cool. <laughs> Today I'm, s I'm mixing up German and English and whatever, some Italian, some French. Yeah, we are multi culti. <laughs> No, we have to let it a little bit cool down because otherwise the essential oils will lose their, yeah, their smell and the goodies and the uh, benefits of it if we put it in there right now when we take it out of the broiler. So you know, we don't need an ice bath. As you were asking me, Ken, we should be fine. Let me just double check. There is not any temperature. I would say it's too hot or it's too cold. It's up to you, to your feeling, I want to say. Um, the only thing what I want to say, don't put the essential oils in when it's straight out of the broiler. So now we put all our essential organic essential oils in there. So, and it smells already really, really good. Stir it together with my fancy glass stick. Hmm, I'm getting better and better, right? <laughs> And we fill it up and that's the way we have it in our shop now or today later on when you come to the farmer's market here in Platzmas, we have um, it filled up in two ounce, um, it's not a tin, the one ounce tin is too small. So it's two ounce um, and you can get it as I said later on if you visit us at the farmer's market here in Platzmas. So what you have to do now here with this, just fill it, you don't have to take a two ounce when you just make it for yourself and you are not so affected from the creatures they are biting you you can use smaller tins but we take the two ounce can you put it in a glass too jar yeah <laughs> i would say yes you can no uh, the the jars are made for hot stuff i mean let me just yes you can but I don't like it in glass jars. I mean, if you want to show it and put it in your bathroom, like, hey, look at this, that's pretty, you can. But the glass jars are also more expensive, like the plastic one. And we, we like them and it doesn't harm the cream or anything, so you should be good. But yes, you can put it in, in glass jars as, as well. So right now it's liquid, as you can see. I hope you can see it up there. I don't can put it in this camera because otherwise I have everything here on my table. <laughs> <laughs> so out of this measurement, um, this recept recept recipe. recipe, bang, this recipe I gave you with 100 gram of coconut oil, 30 gram of beeswax, 10 milliliter of castor oils, and the essential oils, you get one, two, three, four, two ounce um, container from this, yeah, yummy smelling for us and ooh, for the creature. So you have four uh, nice container in, I don't know, not even five minutes, right? When yeah. it, sometimes I talk too much, but it's not even five <laughs> minutes. And the good thing is, so not just the farmer's market, you can order these online at our online store too. You can look through all of our products there too. The farmer's market is now every Saturday from Eight to noon. Eight to noon. And that is in Plattsmouth, Nebraska. Yes. And you will see us. We are big enough. <laughs> and may you want to ask yourself, what is that? Uh, let me put it in here. Can you see that in here? I hope so. I don't have the double check. So this is Echinacea. Echinacea, that's just a reminder because you may think, oh, that's so pretty. What the heck is that? Echinacea. And Echinacea, we have products, as Ken said, on our website as well. It's really, really good for the switch from summer to fall, if we have a fall, or right in the winter when we get the cold or the flu or anything. This is Echinacea. I just want to show you it because even if it's dry, it looks so pretty. All right. Yeah, I know. <laughs> As I always say, with this product, I, I don't give you any medical advice, but I have to for my own liability. I am your master herbalist. I'm not a doctor <laughs> and I cannot and I will not give you any medical advice. As I said, there is kind of no medical advice because it's just for the bits and stings from the creatures. 
um, oh, what do you see? And again, no medical advice. As I said, we have the stop, we have our organic deodorant, we have here our organic body wash, and our little one from right here, and this is different sizes of hand soap. Just check out our YouTube channel or our website. And with the YouTube channel, it just came in my mind. Please like and subscribe. There's one more little thing by essential oils, even if they're organic. Some people are allergic against certain oils. So if you do, try them before, just a spot on your skin. And I would say, I think something like a half an hour or something, if you have no reaction, you're good. But I have heard that people certain, and we've been written, people have written to us, can I leave that oil out because I'm allergic against it? So yes, you could take another oil. Yeah, for example, if you are um, allergic for rosemary, but this is the 20 drops, that's the highest amount, before you switch it out, may you please ask us how you can switch it out right. with anything else which would replace rosemary without losing the effect from the cream or from this balm. Right. Just always give us, yeah, shoot us a message, tell them under our YouTube uh, channel, and we will definitely answer all the questions you may have. I think that's it for now, right? Right. This was Ken and Ute from Ute's Herbal Corner. Ciao, ciao. Have a good week. Thank you. Love and light.